Morning, welcome back to Betty's channel. She's doing the do as always. Please give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a subscribe, drop a comment down below. Hit that notification bell so you get uh, made aware of new videos when they come out. Because they come out, they don't come out like on a Sunday or a Wednesday or a Thursday. They come out when, I, when they come out, when I make them. So it's not going to be a short one today. I'm going to be testing the new Sterling Power Hob to see how efficient it is and see um, what power it's going to be using. So I'll show you that. I need to test the... Um, water feed to the tap to make sure it's not leaking and we're going to be doing a few other bits and pieces so stay with us like i said it's not going to be a 37 50 minute long one like the last one but maybe all right see you in a bit first thing i need to do is to go through all these bags this is all the crap that was under the sink um so i need to go through them bin what we don't need and then what we do need is put in the new kitchen cupboards and drawer still love that kitchen and we've got a couple of unboxing, well we've got one unboxing to do. That I think is new pans that are, uh, for induction hobs. Uh, that came off Amazon, that came yesterday. But, 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 I don't know, I can't remember any pans you get, but we'll open it together and we'll have a look. In fact, let's do that now. Right, what have we got? Pan lid. Loads of cardboard. So we've got the tiniest frying pan in the world. I wanted a bigger one really. Can't always get a bigger one I suppose. Got a little cooking pot. Which should probably do stuff in. Got a saucepan. More cardboard. Oh no, I've got a bigger frying pan there. Another pan. The lid and a big frying pan. So that's better. That's basically the same size as what we had before, but that was a copper one. And apparently, you can't use copper on a induction hob. So we've got one, two, two saucepans and a little cooking pot and two little frying pans. All that lot of Amazon were fifty quid. Which didn't be too bad, really. So I'm going to use a small pan just to boil some water because I've got an induction kettle. Well, I've got a kettle coming for an induction hob that's a whistling kettle like our um, like that one, and I think it's green as well. But that can't be used because it's aluminium. You know it says induction on it. Oh. Well, I've read somewhere you can't use. These on an induction hob because they've got to have. Oh, I don't know. Uh -huh. Two kettles is better than one, I suppose. And I also found. found the, I need to check if the ridge monkey can be used so on, a, on a trick hob. I've forgotten we've got two ridge monkeys. Uh, that's an extra large one. I'll read the instructions and see if you can use them on induction hobs. Because I don't really want to get rid of them. I mean, if I just get rid of them, if anybody wants one. Because that's obviously brand new. Drop a comment down below. I've just checked and it actually says can be used on all traditional stoves not suitable for induction hobs. So, there's a ridge, brand new ridge monkey going there. Drop a comment and DM me, whichever. That's what you get for 50 quid. Induction cookware. It says, oh, you can see that. Amazon Basics, so it's probably cheap for what it is, but we'll give them a go. I'm really good to buy the original one, okay? I'm going to see if there's an original one for induction hobs, because these are die-cast aluminium ones. I love my original one, okay? Gutted! Gutted. Moments of truth to see if that leaks. Water's coming through. Doesn't appear to be leaking. That's going into the waste container. Happy days. Well, that's good. No leaks from there. No leaks from there. 
and it goes into the waste container okay if it is right pan with about a liter of water filled in filled in put in right 13.6 volts switch on the control Have a level. Can hear it booting up. Power level five, I think, is the default setting. So we'll just see how long that takes. That's dropped to 13.3. And let's time it now, see how long it takes to boil. Come back to you in a minute. Or two. Or three. 13.1 volts now, so that's dropped down 0.5 volts. You can see it's bubbling at the bottom and there's steam coming off the top. And it's been on about two minutes. We're only on power level five and I think it goes up to power level eight. So obviously the more power you use, the more it's going to draw from the battery. But I don't know if you can see the steam coming off now. I mean, a kettle will probably take a lot quicker, but we'll see. Starting to bubble. And if you're doing stuff like pasta, things like that, it's not going to actually going to take that long. In terms of making a meal, I mean, we're probably about four minutes now. So that's six minutes, and that's now bubbling quite well. So you chuck your pasta in now. So you're probably looking about seven to eight minutes to to boil a pan so it's not bad and it's still at 13.1 and I'll, I'll i'll put in um a little picture of the battery monitor in between see what you think but yeah i'm happy with that so it's, it's just used on level five 0.5 worth of volts i'm not a technical person so i'm sure somebody will drop it in the comments as to whether that's good or not but look at that now see look that's seven minutes and that's boiling so that's good like I said I'll try, I'll try it on a higher heat next time and I'll monitor how much power it uses but that's, I'm happy with that that's good I'll turn it off and that's gone back to 13.4 and this this outer ring is not hot obviously the, the middle will be hot and the fans still running because it's cooling down so pretty much pleased with that just in case some of you were wondering why the drawer is inset like that, it's because of the fridge. I've got fat crippled fingers and I would always catch my hand on that. I should have, I should have did right to it. Um, I'd always catch my fingers on that and probably hurt my little dainties. So that's why it's set back. Just in case anybody was wondering. So I shall take that pan off in a minute. Um, the fans the fan stopped after about 30 seconds so that's good and the uh, voltage gone back up to 13.5 it's a nice sunny day here so I'm getting about 120 watts of solar so I think I need to increase the size of the solar panel to one of the new big black ones probably about 350 watts um, so I'll get that organized in the next few weeks but we are keeping um, we are keeping one of the gas the portable gas cookers um, and the Ridge Monkey, just in case, and that'll be stored away somewhere just for emergencies if it ever goes tits up with the electric and we can buy the kettle, so that'll be good. I don't want to get rid of the Ridge Monkey. I'm going to try and find a Ridge Monkey that works for induction hob. Yeah. Well, that was a short video, wasn't it? I just wanted for tests for water leaks and I wanted to test the Sterling um, Power induction hob. Both work, no leaks, happy days. Thanks for watching this little one. See you soon. Please like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell and we'll see you on the next one.